Gary, who who did you who was that famous person you said I look like? Venus Flytrap. From WKRP in Cincinnati? Split an image. No way. Really? Isn't that Hyde's dad on that 70s show? Yeah. Oh, what do you know? I would have never guessed. That's 5%. They got some alcohol in there, so I'm drinking it. I don't drink anymore. I don't drink any less. Slightly cloudy. A little bit of carbonation in there. From my good friends at Eminem Beer. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. And I have to shuffle some papers here to give you some stuff. Okay, we're going to have top 15 things that are good for you. We'll go from the the good the good to the best. You know, 15 is, is good, and then we'll go up to the best. But first, thanks, Gary. You're all right. You're welcome. Uh, Terrapin Beer Company, Athens, Georgia. White Mood. Or my chocolate, moo ch moo hoo, milk chocolate, cheese, oh, Pete. More cowbell. <laughs> all right. Cocoa nibs from Olive and St. Clair and our moo hoo chocolate milk stout wasn't enough. Then how about adding white chocolate to the mix just for good measure? I don't know. Anyway. Newton Bridge Road, Athens, Georgia. This is 6.1%. Pack in, pack out. All right. It's got a green tab on it. How about that one time? Uh, number 15. This is like, I mean, the list was like huge, but I just picked the top 15. You don't want to hear all that crap. So I said 15 is chocolate milk. Whoever thought chocolate milk was good for you? I never, you know, and they give a description of why it was, it's, uh, it's good for you. And I was like, oh, okay. Ooh, this is very dark. Very dark. Wow, for six percent. Well, I was I'm, I'm, dead, I'm dead wrong. Six point one percent. Number fourteen, pickled vegetables. You see, that's good for you, but doesn't have a lot of salt or sodium in that. I don't know. That, okay. Oh, cowbell. Okay, there's a big cowbell. Right. More cowbell. Who did that? Christopher Walken. Is that what he did? I can't even see through that sucker. Yeah. All right, it smells like a stout. Cheers, Spike. Okay. Number 13, legumes, which means peanuts. Peanuts, okay. Number 12, quina. I'm, I'm probably saying it wrong. Q-U-I-N-O-A. Quina, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know. So, anyway. Okay, yeah, white chocolate. I don't know. I don't, I can I can eat white chocolate. It's okay, but I'm not gonna go out. Of, if I have a choice between white chocolate and dark chocolate and milk chocolate, I'm gonna probably eat the dark chocolate. I don't know. It, it's pretty good though. It's pretty good. It it it's it's thick enough to where I I would it, just looking at this, I would probably say it's like nine percent. You know, really thick. But that's very good. I would order this in a bar. Yes, I would order this in a bar. That's that's very good. But it, I mean, you, you, they give you the, the big 23 ounce glasses or something like that. And that but yeah, 6% ain't bad. That ain't bad. Okay. Number 11. I can get on board with this. Chocolate. How about that? Number 10. The Mediterranean diet. I don't know what that is. Probably a lot of, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It sure isn't, um, you know, quarter pounders or Big Macs or Whoppers. Uh, number number nine, blueberries. Well, yeah, naturally, you know, of course, you're going to get the good uh, stuff. I eat lots of prunes. Not lots. I don't eat lots. I, get, I, I eat it for the benefits. And I like I like the taste of prunes. And I've seen on the package one time, he said plums, dried plums, as if, they said, "Oh, we're not we're not reaching the young market. We're going to put dried plums on there because if they know they were prunes, they wouldn't buy our product." And I was like, oh, "Prunes are for old people." And I'm I'm 25, so uh, number nine, mangoes. I can understand that. It's a fruit. You know, wouldn't wouldn't all fruits be good? Mangoes? Can you put just all fruits in there? 
Uh, number seven, almonds. All right, I love almonds. I, I love almonds. I, I I bought almonds for the for the squirrels in the backyard. I throw them on. They're like, what the hell's this? What's this? My cashews? What's this? Give me a peanut. I give them a peanut, and they're they're all happy. And I do buy I do buy uh, pecans, pecans, pecans. They like those. They really like those. Okay. Um, number six, peanut butter. All right, I can get on with that. Number five, kale. No, it's a vile weed. All right. Number four, spinach and other leafy green vegetables. Well, duh. But spinach has a lot of, uh, I don't know, it's a dark, dark stuff that you wouldn't get in normal lettuce. I guess it's a darker stuff. Beets, I love beets. I put beets on my pizza. Wait, wait, wait. You gonna hit me on that one? What would I rate this? Hmm. On a scale of one to ten. I'm gonna give it a nine. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. All right. Uh, number two, broccoli or any of the curfusius vegetables. I know I'm slaughtering that word. Crucifers, uh, vegetables, whatever. Right, vegetables. Wouldn't it be vegetables? And number one, yes. No. Gary? Fish. How about that? That's pretty, that's not bad. Okay. Well, uh, like I said, it, this is pretty good. I'm not going to give uh, Aaron any of it. I'll give my wife some. She'll, she'll take a sip of it. But she doesn't drink beer, so she'll say, oh, it tastes horrible. So I'll see you in the next one. I'll give it uh, a high score, a nine and a half. And tomorrow I'm going to do a, a video with a, I think, a 10% alcohol. Cheers.